It was past midnight, and Preeti was lying in bed, eyes wide open, staring up at the ceiling. For the last hour, Preeti had been debating whether she was awake enough to go downstairs and get a snack. But being in bed is so warm, Preeti thought, and going all the way downstairs is so long, Preeti grumbled. The clock struck one. Preeti's stomach rumbled loudly. Right, downstairs it is then, she conceded. Preeti tiptoed downstairs. However hard she tried to be quiet, each wooden stair creaked rudely beneath Preeti's feet. Typical, she scowled. The kitchen was pitch black. Preeti couldn't be bothered to turn on the light, at risk of blinding her sleepy eyes. She rummaged through the cupboard, where her grandma hid all the best snacks. Pistachios, mini cheddars, packets of cup of soup. Nothing that Preeti was in the mood for. But then she felt a jar, right at the back of the cupboard. In the dark, she couldn't make out the words written on the label. Filled with sudden sleepy curiosity, Preeti opened the jar and peeked in. A disgusting cloud of intoxicating, pickly fumes engulfed her. She screamed a blood-curdling howl. Preeti tried desperately to breathe as her mind was filled with images of pickles chasing her down, pointing at her, laughing, and suffocating her with their pickly smell. In a blind panic, Preeti chucked a jar of pickles out the kitchen window. She sprinted upstairs, slammed the bedroom door, and locked it behind her. With her back pressed to the door, Preeti felt tears streaming down her cheeks. Of all the things, she thought. Pickles. Anything but pickles, she whispered. Now, Preeti's behaviour seems a little extreme as a reaction to an innocent jar of pickles. So what was going on? Well, Preeti actually has a mental disorder called a phobia. And we'll look at what we mean by a phobia next. 